Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. In this video, we're going to be painting Pandora from the Malifaux. Let's get started. All right, and in this, we will be painting uh, Pandora from the Pandora Core box. We've been working through this box on the channel. We're about done uh, with all the minis here. I'm going to do a nice little showcase eventually. Uh, but feel free to follow this video as a one-to-one -one tutorial guide or uh, just as a recommendation uh, for you know tips and tricks as always. We're going to be thinning down the Orp Skin Speed Paint with the Speed Paint Medium uh, to create a very nice thinned down version of this paint. It's going to be very vibrant and awesome on this model here. And with this we're going to cover all of the clothing uh, on the model except for uh, the midsection of the model here and uh, we'll just go ahead and keep carrying on with the uh, majority of the dress. And with characters like this, I, I like to use kind of a smaller brush and use that to really um, drag the paint along and get a very nice, thin, consistent layer with the speed paints. Uh, you can use a bit of a thicker brush um, to get more paint on faster if you'd like. Uh, you just kind of sacrifice a little bit of control in my opinion. I work better this way, um, just kind of really depends on the painter there. And especially when you're working on characters, it's very nice to use the speed paint medium with all of your speed paints just to kind of add that uh, extra bit of uh, viscosity to it, adds a little bit more uh, to the drying time so you can kind of play around and mess with the tone a little bit more. Uh, moving on, we're going to switch into Absolution Green. Uh, in this, we will cover the little garter section that she has in the middle of her clothing here. Uh, always wiping off a little bit of our brush to make sure we have good control here. And uh, be very careful, angle the model however you need to to hit those hard areas. Um, and we'll just go ahead and keep steady in applying paint in this area. And with this step and other speed paint steps in the video, I didn't really use any speed paint medium with them. Uh, it really just matters on the very large parts of the model, like the clothing, uh, you want a very consistent layer. Uh, so that's kind of why you'll see me use uh, the medium occasionally and uh, not all the time. So I kind of prefer it when I'm doing clothing and large areas of models, like uh, uh, on the poltergeist that we did earlier this week. Um, but for smaller areas, I think that just the thin, just a little bit of water works, you know, to thin this down. So that's what we're doing here on the rest of the speed paints. Just going ahead and using some dark wood to uh, paint this little lock box that she is holding. And then we'll give you guys a close up of the Absolution Green and the lock box here in a moment. And typically with models like this, I tend to work a little bit slower, uh, you know, on my characters and. Um, more important models, I'll, I'll take my time and really uh, try not to mess up and, and, you know, really accentuate all the detail that's on them. So uh, we're going to switch over to Barbarian Flesh for all of the skin here uh, from the normal acry acrylic line. And with this, we're going to cover in all of the flesh areas on the face and the leg here and on our arms and chest. And as always, uh, when you're working with acrylics, make sure you thin them down. Um, it's very important to do that. Sometimes they can come out a little bit chunky or a little bit textured, so uh, the best way to do that is just work in very thin layers and build them up very slowly to get a nice finish uh, overall. So it takes a lot of time and it uh, can be a little bit tedious, but it's worth it in the end. And once that's dry and you have a nice buildup of tone there, we'll go ahead and switch over to our first wash step of the video. For this, we'll switch to flesh wash and just go ahead and cover every area that we just covered with the Barbarian Flesh. All of the skin tones, we'll go ahead and just wash those down and create a nice even transition from the clothing to the skin. It's also pretty handy to keep a damp brush nearby when you're uh, doing this step just to wipe away any uh, excess wash that may get on uh, certain areas that you don't want it to. This is uh, especially crucial in the face when you want to really control where your wash goes. Um, have a couple brushes nearby and just kind of play around with the wash uh, before it dries and you will have uh, better results than if you just kind of slap it on there. So we'll switch over to some matte white to kind of clear 
our palette on uh, some of these areas that we were a little bit sloppy on, so like the uh, back of the hair here. So we're going to switch back over to our speed paint, so we'll go ahead and clean up everything else uh, back to matte white and switch over to those. And once you have those steps finished up, we're going to switch over to our speed paints again, switching into grim black here. Uh, and for this, we're going to cover the boots. Um, you can try to leave the straps uh, above the boots bare here if you want to. Um, I am going to cover those back up with just matte black, the acrylic. Uh, it's not going to make too much of a difference, just kind of creates varying shades of black and a little bit of difference on the boots there. Um, but you can absolutely just take the grim black and cover the entirety of the boots here. Uh, and we also want to hit the uh, choker that's around her neck as well with this color. And now with this color, be very careful around the other areas that you've already painted. It can stain other speed paints and acrylics as well. It's very dark and uh, heavily pigmented, so be aware of that when you're using this. Be a little bit more cautious than, uh, than usual with your other speed paints. But other than that, um, just try to keep your layers consistent. Try to use even coverage, as always, with your uh, speed paints. And uh, you can absolutely use two layers of this if you want a more flat uh, black color. And once that's dry, we'll go ahead and switch over to a couple of our final speed paint steps here. We're going to switch to a 2 to 1 ratio of Fire Giant Orange to uh, Dark Wood. And we'll go ahead and use this to cover the entirety of her hair. Um, just again, being very careful around the other speed paints that we have put down. The Fire Giant Orange can also stain other speed paints very easily. Uh, I've learned this the hard way, so <laughs> uh, learn from my mistake and be very careful when doing this step. And I've used this mix before uh, on the channel for hair, uh, and I stand by it. It's one of my favorite mixes for uh, kind of reddish orange hair. Uh, and then moving on here on the model, we'll switch over to some finer detail with some matte black. And we'll go ahead and cover all of the little straps that are on her boots. And there's a couple near the dress here as well, so we'll go ahead and cover those in. Uh, being very careful, again, around everything that we've already painted. Make sure your paint is very thinned down and you have good uh, control of your brush. Uh, you know, make sure to wipe off any excess paint you have on your brush that might kind of splotch any areas in detail on the model. And as always with your acrylics, be sure to uh, thin them down. Uh, make sure you have really good brush control. Make sure to wipe off any excess paint on your brush. And uh, just take your time, try to cover those areas slowly and efficiently. Once you've got those areas covered up, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to our speed paints one last time. And for this, we're going to switch over to Plasmatic Bolt and Speed Paint Medium. And with this, we're just going to cover up the tiny uh, little magic essence that's coming out of the lockbox that she's holding. So go ahead and mix a one-to-one -one ratio of this and uh, do a one thin coat over this to get a nice cloudy magical effect. And as an added bonus, you could also take a little bit of the orc skin that we used from earlier and mix that into the plasmatic bolt here on the uh, magic uh, lockbox and just kind of tie all of the colors together on the model. And moving over to our acrylic step for our last step here, we will make a little one-to-one -one ratio of matte white to barbarian flesh and simply highlight all of the skin on the model here, uh, making sure we cover all of the raised areas and leaving any shadows on the models that we created earlier with the flesh wash. So thanks again for watching guys. Be sure to check out the top link in the description to take part in the giveaway. Uh, we have giveaways running with every video uh, that we release, so be sure to check out the rest of the videos that we'll release this week and the previous videos this week. All of our giveaways now end uh, the following Sunday that they premiere, and winners are announced Monday through our Facebook group, uh, so be sure to check that out if you guys are not already in there. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and happy wargaming.